Well, during the winter months, gardening activities have pretty much come to a standstill, so it's a great time to be out cleaning the garage or your gardening shed. Now, chances are, while you're cleaning, you're going to come across some old or used chemicals like these, and you may be wondering how you can properly dispose of these products safely. Many cities and towns across America are addressing this problem by hiring professional reclamation companies to come in for a day to collect these unwanted chemicals. Such an event was held a couple of weeks ago in Tulsa, and Extension Urban Water Quality right, Agent doing? Sue Gray was there to give us the details. Today the city of Tulsa is hosting a household pollutant collection day and we're having a tremendous turnout. It's noon, we've been open since 10 a.m. and we have 650 cars that have gone through so far. Uh, the Household Pollutant Collection Day is intended to help people clean out their garages that contain items such as paint, pesticides, oil, batteries, old solvents, and household cleaners that people have been hanging on to for a long time and may not know what to do with. This event was funded through the city of Tulsa. Uh, we have a trash to energy plant that burns our household waste and generates steam. The steam is sold to the Sun Refinery. The price of the steam is based on natural gas prices. Since natural gas prices rose, the uh, plant made a profit and Mayor Susan Savage earmarked that profit for an event just such as this so we could clean out some people's garages, get rid of these wastes, and keep them out of the storm sewers and the sanitary sewers. One point I'd like to make, even though people have had to wait about an hour in line to have their waste disposed of, they have been very patient and amazingly they've been very, very appreciative. They've told many of our volunteers who survey them in line, they've said thank you for holding this. You don't know how long I've been holding on to this waste. One comment is we've had a lot of interesting things brought in. The bulk of the items, of course, is paint, oil and batteries, a lot of pesticides, but we've also had oddball things such as liquid mercury. We've also had uh, gunpowder brought through and those people have been asked to stay in their cars, certainly not smoke, and uh, they've been handled very carefully. This has been in the planning stages for well over a year now. Um, several of us went up to Minnesota last year and learned how they process household waste up there and how they handle collection days. Then a steering committee was formed and we carried it off from there. A lot of cooperation has had to happen for this event to occur in Tulsa. And if you're thinking of holding something like this in your own community, keep in mind that you'll need about a year of planning time. You need to have full cooperation of local fire and police units. The hazardous materials units from the fire department need to be on site. We also have the bomb squad from the fire department because you never know what could happen. Of course, funding is very important, and the funding earmarked for this was uh, between $140,000 and $150,000. That averages out to about $100 per carload of waste to pay for this event. I think that's why people have been thanking us for this, because it would cost them a lot to dispose of it properly. Of course, the main point we want to get across to people is, from here on out, try to use products in small quantities that you can use up in the proper way so that you don't have a big storage problem build up in the first place in the future.